Man Wicked, so Sting 2022 finally returns after seven years. And the reason for that is, well, <laughs> Cartel. Cartel and Movado at the time was the hottest two artists in a dance hall. Multiple hits topping the charts, playing at every party. So naturally, Cartel's price went up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. So Cartel gave Leng an ultimatum out of respect and he said, me and Movado alone can pack Sting. You really don't need any other artists. So pay me 8 million dollars or I will never do Sting again. And it's safe to say the promoters of Sting chose the latter. I mean, them try keep Sting again without Cartel and it flop. And one of the most savage things Cartel did was keep his own show on the same night of Sting. And Leng and Evie D, the promoters of Sting, also being police officers send allegedly send police officers for lack of cartel show <laughs> because cartel show packed and sting empty <laughs> so after that them basically just give up on sting because it was dying and dying but after all that there was a little ray of hope because popcorn was now the biggest artist were free and alkaline was now the hottest young artist so now Sting have little hopes, right? All of them hopes they get shot down very soon. Because Popcorn and Alkaline refuse to do Sting. So them being the artist artist shouldn't bring back Sting. Every day he talked about it, every day he disappointed because him try to get them on the show for bring back Sting. And you know, two of them turn it down and say, oh, them not do no Sting, them not do no clashing. So technically, Cartel left Sting as a wounded dog, and then Popcorn and Alkaline were supposed to feed it, bring it back to life, and them just <laughs> left it alone. Like how you walk past homeless people on the road. Them just <laughs> left it alone, and then Sting just died off its own. But it has been resurrected, and now it's back with a bang. With the whole of the new young artists, artists, them, we are talking about the Silk Boss, them, the Jashi, them, the Briscoe, the Skeng, you name it, a whole heap of them, I can't call all of them names, but the Bigs than them, a whole heap of the young artists, them, I don't know how much of them, daddy, and this me remember one thing with Tamali Lady is saying up on an interview. Tamali did ask the question if Alkaline have more fans than him, and him say, Alkaline have everybody fans. Really and truly, only some giants in a dance hall have them own fans. Like you would have the Gully, you would have the Gaza, you would have Sparta fans, etc. But when a young artist just boss, people take on to him, them like him, people listen to him, but him don't really have no fans for himself or no dedicated fans. You understand? So Alkaline at the time never did have no fans, really. Just people were taken on to him and the controversy surrounding him and Vibes Cartel, like the mimicking thing and the imitating cartel, them stuff, them type of things there. But you know, over time Alkaline built him own a solid fan base. But that statement to Tamali says still goes for a lot of people. Especially a whole heap of the young artists them right now, the marksman them, the bigs than them, a whole heap of them. And I feel like this is somewhat of a good thing for the clash. Because they you know fans bias. So let's say um Cartel and Movado are clash. Movado fans are gonna always real female. You know? Cartel fans are gonna always real female. Even if each one of them sing foolishness respectively, it's still <laughs> them fans still are gonna real for them and say you are the body song this them ever hear in the world. But now for so much young artists who don't have them own a solid fan base, them have everybody fans, the fans them now gonna be biased. So Sting a keep at the perfect time. So if Marksman for this Brisco and the song of foolishness, people are gonna say boo. And if Brisco sing foolishness, people are gonna say boo. If them sing something bad, people are gonna real feet and bust blank and say yeah, bad. Nobody now gonna be biased because none of them artists they are not really them favorite artists. Are just everybody fans them have a listen to them. You understand what I say? So that Sting clash yeah, I believe it I got fear, I believe it I got bad and. I believe no fight now go go on there either. <laughs> because everybody put out a statement where him say no fight will be going on at Sting because the stage will be a prison stage. Meaning a whole heap of police are going to it. So if you think you're going to be an artist and they're it with one bag of man and one bag of entourage, no, are you and police. So they're going to try them best. Not for make no fight go on. They're going to try them best. 
And right now, me I worry about Jashi because Jashi, I'm sure say Jashi, I got afraid for Clash Silk Boss. Even though from Jashi, the, this Silk Boss multiple times, Silk Boss respond to him, then Jashi respond to Silk Boss with another diss track. Then Jashi completely run out of the Clash and say, Yo, upon stage, I want to Clash Silk Boss. Me I wait till December 26. Right, that's so what's thing. Hopefully, Jashi keep him word, but we are going to see. I don't think Jashi is going to keep him word though. Anyways, Jashi now have a beef with Brisco and him have a beef with Silk Boss. So just know say Silk Boss brawling enough I got this Jashi pan stage. And Brisco <laughs> Disco Brisco I got Disco <laughs> Jashi pan stage too. So make us see what go on. Sting is a clashing place and about just performance, a clashing. So hopefully Jashi na sing no peaceful song but it a go hard for them keep up and them thing they make sure him come fully with him arsenal. Why for that? Anyways, who more than want to see a sting a perform? Are the fully bad them? Yeah man, remember how fully bad they go hard in the clash with Gage and Sean Storm. I'm vexed so I can't see Sean Storm too. I'm vexed so <laughs> Sean Storm can't dip on the stage for your clash Gage. Live, make we get for see it. And the gauge too. More than one gauge for that about gauge now go have nobody a clash because the man where gauge did a clash, they are prison. So the clash where me really I look out for it now go, go on. But the second clash where me I look out for a Jashi and Silk Boss and so far Jashi is like a popcorn. He, he may go afraid. You see me? But hopefully him brave up. Me I hope for the best. But no say Silk Boss now go a play with nobody. The man then I got to play with people. Him just got to show this left, right and centre. Hopefully we get a surprise. Hopefully no fight now go, go on. No, no, no. Anything go on, I go make no know. Even if I go on backstage, I go make no know because I see everything. I hear everything. Even if an artist I talk to him friend in a private, me I hear every single thing where I tell him friend to. So they have to know that. Everything will go on, I go know. So if anything I try to sweep under the rug, I go make on know again as usual. But we are look out for a heated night. A lot of feud because that is what Sting is all about. Sting is not a reggae sum fest. Don't get it twisted. So we are look out for the whole of that. But you don't know you are going to have artists that perform the same way. You are going to have the Franco wildlife. Them. When I go at this, nobody really. Grim YG, Goodley, are there they are perform to. Now go at this, nobody. Um, a whole heap of artists I got there. But the artists them will exclusively get booked for Clash and them people come out for see. Joshy them hope them not let me down. <laughs> Silk Boss, we know Silk Boss now go let me down. And we just go there and see what go on. It a go be a fun night and video footage I got also there too. And you know we are go review the video footage too. We don't know what the thing go. No, no, nice like how bingo. And as usual, late night review, man tough.